Hey guys, I wanted to make a video to welcome you to our group and give you guys kind of an overview of A, what I'm expecting of you guys in this group and B, what just how to get all the tools and where to find everything and just help you um, answer a lot of stuff before we even get started, right? So I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of things right now and this video will remain in our group so you can always go back to it. And obviously if you ever have questions about anything, you are always welcome to reach out to me, you're welcome to post in the app, you're welcome, however, to you know get your an questions answered, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is share my screen and show you guys some tips and tricks. So let's see, okay. So the first thing we'll go over here is what Beachbody On Demand looks like, okay? All you have to do is literally type in beachbodyondemand.com. Here is your place where you're gonna find all the stuff you need, okay? I don't know if you guys got your, um, if you got your kits yet or not, and it doesn't really matter when they come, you'll have, you know, the actual hard copies of stuff, but this is where all the workouts are, okay? So many of you are starting with 21 Day Fix. I know somebody, a couple, maybe at least one of you is starting with a little bit obsessed, which is right here. 80 Day Obsession is a newer program, which I'm doing right now, and definitely not a beginner's program, but something you guys can do. The awesome thing about Beach Body On Demand is that you have access to all this stuff. You don't have to pay again. So when you complete the 21 Day Fix, maybe once or twice, you can then chat with me and we can decide what maybe would be the best fit for you for the next round. And maybe that'll be 80 Day Obsession, or maybe it'll be 21 Day Fix Extreme, or maybe it'll be Shift Shop, Core to Force, whatever. We have all these options at our fingertips. Now, one thing I wanna mention is I don't want you guys to, um, hop around. I want you to complete a program before you move on to the next one. These have all been designed and tested in a way that is proven to get results and you have to stick with one program to get the results that you've seen everyone have that is making your jaw drop and is what made you join us, right? So say you're starting the 21 Day Fix. We're going to start there, right? And keep in mind, most of these workouts go by the meal plan that comes with this program. So that's awesome too, because a lot of the times you won't have to switch anything around in your meal plan to go on to a different workout. So here is all the workouts that you're gonna get with the 21 day fix, okay? When you go to program materials, which is right here on top, you're gonna see um, the workout calendar, which is, again, I highly recommend you um, printing this out so that you know what to do every day, okay? So here is your plan. You're gonna do total body cardio fix, then upper fix, lower fix, et cetera. You could print this out and copy it. And then there's a doubles option if you want on the third week. Totally optional. I myself never did doubles. You definitely don't have to do it. It's just an option. Print that calendar out so you always do the right workout, okay? When you look at the workout list, here it is. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. Total body cardio fix, you press play. And within seconds, you just have to press accept. Check this box, press accept. And voila. Here it is, and it's playing. And that countdown starts from your 30 seconds, 30 minutes, okay? Now, it tells you with each of them what you need. If you're doing the 21 day fix, you need weights. You don't need a beach body mini mat. Um, and you need water and towel. But you definitely need weights. If you're just starting out, I recommend getting five and 10 pound weights as your beginner weight set, okay? So I'm gonna X that out, but that's how you access it. Another way before I move on to other program materials is there's an app. So you can get this on any computer, any um, smartphone, whatever. The app is called BOD, Beach Body On Demand. I don't know if you can see. I'll do the apps later. I'm going to show you guys how to do the different apps later. But um, there's an app you can use for Apple TV. Um, you can get it on um, Roku, Fire Stick. All of them have the Beachbody On Demand app. And all you have to do is type in your email you use to order your package and your password. And then you're going to have access to everything. Okay? Program materials are right here. So, um, Let's go to the, what do I want to go over first? Here's Spotify playlist too, so you can put music on while you play, which is pretty sweet. Let's go to the eating plan. So I'm gonna click the eating plan here. And here it is. It's super straightforward. You're probably gonna still have questions in the beginning if you've never done this before. And I am 
a super duper pro at this, so please reach out with any questions. But first, read through it all, okay? The first thing you need to do is find your calorie bracket. So you just put in your weight your, and do this, right? It's gonna lead you to either A, B, C, or D is gonna be your plan. Once you calculate a number, you're gonna fit into one of these calorie brackets. This is how many times you get to fill each of these containers. So if you're in plan B, you get four veggies, three fruits, four proteins, three carbs, one fat, one dressing, and four teaspoons, which is like oils and nut butters a day, okay? Um, super easy. You can plan everything ahead of time, which is what I do. Here is a breakdown of a sample day in plan, what plan is this? Three sample days, actually, it gives you. Just to give you an idea, so like hard-boiled eggs with oatmeal and sliced apples would give you a protein, a carb, and a fruit. Or Greek yogurt with cereal, whole grain cereal and blueberries gives you those same container counts. Snack one would be your shake and almond or peanut butter, whatever. It gives you all different options. You can look over those on your own. Um, and then if you keep scrolling, it shows you what goes in each of those containers. Basically, any veggie is good for the green container. You can choose any one you want. Um, same goes for purple in fruits. And then in your protein container, all of these things count as protein. So two eggs count as a protein. Greek yogurt, you just fill your red container and that counts as one protein of Greek yogurt or of regular yogurt. Um, the same goes for, you know, any of the things in here, you can either fill the container and Shakeology counts as one protein, or if you don't do use a container, it's four ounces of meat. So if you're out at a restaurant and you get filet mignon and it's six ounces and you're eating the whole thing, that counts as one and a half proteins, okay? A veggie burger counts as one protein, four slices of turkey bacon, um, whatever, okay? You can see your whole list here. Now, when it comes to carbs, same thing. You fill your yellow container. Don't be afraid when you get your containers out there. They look so tiny. They're, I'm going to be starving. Once you put your food in that container, stuff it, empty it on your plate, you're going to be like, holy shit, that's a lot of food. Seriously, I promise. And you get to fill it multiple times a day, so it works. Brown rice, quinoa, plantains, beans, edamame, peas, all that, refried beans, I love. Brown rice are things you'll use as your carbs. Your blue container is small. It's fats. It's a quarter of an avocado, 12 almonds, 8 cashews, 14 peanuts, eight walnuts, or you can fill it up with hummus and use it with raw veggies or whatever, okay? That's your, and then of course, cheeses are an option. Your orange container is like dressings um, or any, so it says see page 60 for dressings, but really I use any dressing. I just make sure it only is the amount of an orange container, which is two tablespoons, and it goes a really long way. Um, and then your teaspoons are your oils and your nut butter. So peanut butter, almond butter, cashew butter, counts as your teaspoons for the day, or if you're cooking with like coconut oil or, or um, olive oil, those count as your teaspoons also. You'll get really used to measuring with these things, with teaspoons and um, containers, and it'll become second nature to you, and you're gonna notice how much more of things you were using that you did not need. Like just pouring oil on your veggies or whatever when you're cooking them, when you could just put like, say you're making a, big tray of like four servings or eight servings of veggies and you just use like four teaspoons, that's all you need of oil. So you'll be, it's really like a learning, a wake up call. These are some substitutions you're allowed. So you can do, um, for a yellow, you can do unsweetened um, almond milk, you can count it as, whatever, you can look through here. For your treats, there are little options you can do. And then your free foods are like, you know, what, putting things in your water. You don't have to count that fruit. Um, any extracts are free. Here's the info about like tea and coffee. Okay, so that pretty much covers this section, right? All of this, again, is in your app or on beachbodyondemand.com. Okay, that's where your workout list is. That's where your program materials are. If you want to print out these, let me show you guys the tally sheets. It'll um, help you plan ahead with your meal plan. I have other options too for this, but this is one, one way you can do it. Meal one, whichever containers you're using, meal two, et cetera, okay? I think here's printable tally sheets. Let's see if those are different. Same, why is that different? Let's see. 
editable. So are these, so these editable ones, I'm assuming, maybe you can type on them. Oh yeah. All right, so these are pretty sweet. So say you find out you're in um, ca category A, right? You open this up on your computer and you can do, you'll get four veggies, two fruits, four proteins, two carbs, one fat, one orange, like seeds and stuff, and two teaspoons a day. And then you can do your meal plan like that. So in the morning, you can be like, I'm going to have spinach. Oh, is that what you're, oh, you can only write them down. So you'll have spinach in your shake with fruit, say, and, and then nut butter. Okay, so all those are already taken. Look, here's your total on the bottom of what you use so far. So then for meal two, you're going to have, um, let's say, a flatbread thin, uh, what are those called, sandwich thin, with turkey, sliced turkey, lettuce and tomato, and a teaspoon of mayo. I'm just making this up as we go. Okay, meal three. Now you still have all these left on the bottom to help you move forward to remember like what you still have left. So say meal three, You now you had breakfast and like lunch. Maybe I should have done a snack. Okay, let's just do meal three is gonna be an apple with peanut butter. Okay, apple peanut butter. And then we'll do, uh, what else do we have? What else do we have left for the day? An apple with peanut butter. I mean, we'll do hummus with zucchini, because I like that myself. Oh wait, we used three teaspoons already, did we? I'm gonna take the teaspoon out of your shake so that you have those two left. Okay, so now you can see there's two of those, two of those. You still have a red. Do we use no reds yet? How's that possible? Oh, that's an orange, okay. So then, let's say we're at dinner time. We'll have our last veggie. So that'll make us have four. We're done with our fruits. We still have two proteins left. So we'll do, for dinner, we'll do two proteins. We can do eight ounces of whatever we want. Salmon or steak or four ounces of salmon and four ounces of chicken, whatever. Um, and then you have a carb left. So you can do brown rice with that. And then um, you can do, say, let's use your green for a salad and then you can use dressing on that salad or you can use your orange, um, dressing on your salmon. You can cook it with like honey mustard on top. Voila, delicious, okay? And now you're done. So you're, this one's not calculating. Um, now you're all done. So you can see you used one orange, you used two teaspoons, you used your one blue, you used your two yellows, you used your four reds, two purples, four greens, and you're all done. Okay. Voila, voila. Okay. So that is how you do everything in terms of this. Now, I also want to just show you guys real quick your app. When you go in here, this is the My Challenge Tracker app. It's on your phone, right? You can also go to it on um, your computer. When you do, you can also look in files. There's recipes here, and there's a starter kit here that also has a really some really great 21 Day Fix friendly recipes. Something really important that you must do in your app is make sure that you take your before measurements. Go through this, read this whole thing. It's really helpful. It tells you just make sure you get your weights and all that stuff, right? You have to do your before measurements. This shows you where to do them, the proper place. You have to do your before weights and you must do your before pictures and have them sent in by Sunday, okay? You don't, on the app, it asks you to put all that stuff in and you have an option of me being able to see it or not, it's okay if I don't see it, I don't care. You can not show it to me, but you must do it because I promise you guys, you will 1 million percent wish you had it, okay? When we're done with our cycle and you don't have it, you're gonna be very sad. Um, I'm just writing down to remind everybody to get it, to do that before. Monday. Okay. So you're going to do your weight, your measurements, and your photos front, side, and back. Okay. You'll be shocked at how much your body changes in three weeks and you need the pictures to prove it. Okay. Cause it's not always just going to be on the scale. And even if the scale does reflect it, that's great, but it's really amazing to see the difference in pictures. Okay. Um, and then here's, you know, this just goes over the containers, how many you get of each thing, depending on which calorie bar bracket you're in. And here's a sample meal plan with the workouts on top. See? And here's the fix, the container list. You guys can also print this out and it'll be helpful. And you're going to get a printed one in the mail. 
Um, here's buffalo chicken salad recipe, which I love, stuffed breakfast tomatoes, all different things that you can use in the 21 Day Fix. Okay, tips to keep on track. That's in your app. All of this is in your app. And these are other recipes. Also, igetfit.net is my website. If you go to the blog section, there's all a bunch of, tons of recipes there, and they all um, broken down into different container counts, like how much they count as a green, a yellow, a red, whatever. So you can cook those, and you'll know how to count them without having to like do any math or whatever. And they're my favorites. So they all are tested and delicious, and I love them. And I've made them tons of times. Now, what else do I want to share with you guys? I want to show you guys the apps on your phone so that you can keep it with you. Some apps that are important. So the BOD app it looks like this. Again, all you have to do to log on with this is your email and password that you use to order the program in the first place, okay? And here it is. Same thing, you cl click your workout and you can just press play to whichever workout you need. Okay, I see this. It's there, or again, there's program materials right here, and you can get all the same stuff on your phone. It's super awesome. Another app that I want you guys to download is, let me find it, the 21 Day Fix app. It looks like this, it's free. You click it, and then it has like your, you can track your stuff as you go. So if you need help looking at what goes in what container, like if you forget, you can see here and you can click on them and it shows you everything. Another thing that's awesome is you could do the tracker. So I'm gonna reset my tracker. And it looks like this. So week one, day one, right? You click on here and as you go, you can put in your breakfast and say you're eating eggs. You can say two eggs um, would be one protein. Can't see this on here. Oh, I did minus. Okay, two eggs would be one protein with, say, you did like spinach in your eggs, one veggie, and then you did one piece of toast or home fries or whatever, would be one yellow, and then like a side of fruit, one purple. Then you press done, and then you see this is what you have left for the day. And then it tells you what workout. You can click it that you did it, that you did that day. Boom. And, um, it's awesome, and then you can plan what you're gonna have for the rest of the day based on what you have left in containers that day. Get it? Super easy, super awesome, super helpful. Okay, what else do I wanna share with you guys? So another thing I love, let me get it for you real quick. I'm gonna share my screen again. And I'm going to show you guys the link to this. I am obsessed with this because it helps so much. So there's a whole sample meal plan section in Beachbody's blogs. So it's all at the, um, it's teambeachbody.com slash, I'll just put these links up so that you guys can have access to them. So this is the 1200 to $1,499 category, but they have them for every single category, right? You can click any of these and they're so awesome. And even if it says core to force or whatever country heat, it's still for, it's still the same. They're just like branding it that way, but it's the same calories, same categories, same containers, right? So let's do, um, I don't know, want to do, let's do a no cook one. Say you're like in a rush or whatever, and you don't want to cook and it says meal prep in an hour. Okay. You look here, this is what your meal prep is going to look like for the week. And then this just tells you what it's going to be. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday is going to be tropical overnight oats. Tuesday and Thursday, this is for breakfast. There'll be hard-boiled eggs and one cup of watermelon. Snacks are a smoothie or, or, and an apple with peanut butter. And then lunches are Cobb salad with deli turkey and hard-boiled egg. Um, and teaches you how to make a healthier ranch dressing. Tuesday and Thursday is tuna, antipasto salad. And say you're someone that's like, I hate tuna. I would never eat tuna. You can replace that with any protein. So you can be like, okay, I'm not doing tuna. I'm going to replace that and do chicken or salmon or steak or deli turkey or deli ham or whatever you want, right? And then you go to dinners and Monday, Wednesday, Friday is a chicken burrito bowl. Tuesday, Thursdays, avocado, Tuesday, Thursdays, avocado shrimp rolls. And then you scroll down. And this is my favorite part. 
prep the vegetables and herbs. So it tells you every step of the way what to do. Prep the healthy ranch dressing. Make the cob salad in three large containers. Make the tuna antipasto salad in two large containers. Prep the avocado shrimp rolls. So it gives you every single step. So you can do it all in one single day. Plus, another thing that's my favorite is here is your grocery list. How awesome is that? All right here. And as I said, you can swap out any veggie for a different veggie, any protein for different protein, any fruit for different fruit, and it'll all work in the meal plan. And if you do this as your meal plan, you don't have to track anything because this takes into account every container for your calorie bracket. Okay? So say you're in level, um, let's go to 1800 to 20, whatever. This would be like C, level C. Here is more meal prep options. So let's do, uh, I don't know, let's say Mexican food because I love Mexican food. You look here and again, it's going to give you the same thing, different foods. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday. I do this too. I do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday for my meal prep often because um, it doesn't feel like you're eating the same thing when it's alternating days. And this way you're only prepping two different days worth of food and it makes it so much easier. So here's what you do. It shows you what you're going to be eating. So this is what you'll be having Monday, Wednesday, Friday. This is what you'll be having Tuesday and Thursday. Um, shows you all your pictures and all your jet, all your good stuff to do. And it tells you like what, you know, here's spicy steak and corn and tomato salad. Yum. Three ounces of spice rub steak, whatever, cooked in olive oil. Dinners. Shows you what to do. And here's your step-by-step -step guide. So you can do it all at the same freaking time, which is my jam. I love doing that. It, first of all, makes only one day of a mess with pots and pans. Often I'll just rinse one and reuse it, like right then and there. It just saves so much time and energy. And when it's all planned for the week, you just don't fail. And here's your grocery list. So those are available in every calorie bracket with all different options, like I showed you. So this happened to be the Mexican one. Here's, there's no cook ones for every level. Um, you know, they're all different. Country heat, I mean, whatever that is. It's just, it's the same, but it's different foods. And this is what it'll look like at the end. So it also might be a good idea to invest in a bunch of containers like that, like the meal prep containers. They have them on Groupon for really cheap or Amazon. I use those a lot when I'm, prepping so that it's all done ahead of time it's just stacked in the fridge you could take it you know to work with you or whatever right and it's all ready so it takes away all the excuses and also takes away all of the like am I in the mood for this do I want this because you don't have a choice right and that's better it's so much better once for me once I start asking myself like am I in the mood for that do I want that I'd rather have like xyz it's always a bad choice so I think I've covered all of the basics. So the stuff I want from you guys in the app is it asks you, first of all, make sure you turn on the notifications so that you see when um, I'm posting and stuff and when other people are posting. Part of the reason why this is such a great tool is because we cheer each other on and it really goes a long way to do that. So every single day you're going to add your workout. You can add a photo. So I'm going to choose a photo. I'm going to do that today. Right now, I'm going to do it in the app so you guys can see, right? So my husband and I worked out today. There's my photo. I'm going to use this photo um, that, we took, that we took day. This will be day 24 of 80 day of session. <sighs> and I'm going to share note with the group. Okay? And I'm going to press add workout. So now everybody that's in there, if you guys do it this way, will be able to see that you did your workout and now it says day one you worked out check and you can be pumped about it and Shakeology I had my Shakeology this morning at 5 a.m. my eyes are really red now so I don't have a photo but I had chocolate peppermint which I love Shakeology and it was fabulous done and Shakeology. So now that's done and it's shared with the group and now it shows that I've had it. And it's gonna tally up everything that you've done and so show you when you missed a day, when you, you know, what you missed, how many days in a row you've done it. It's gonna track your progress with your weight and your photos and everything if you guys use the app right. So it's awesome. So make sure you check in there every day. You can email me from there. You can contact me from there. You can for sure. And I want you to ask questions and stuff in there when you're like having trouble with meal planning or whatever. Um, we can also all do a call like this where I can go over anything you guys have questions with. Um, like tonight or tomorrow night or whatever, when you guys need help. 
throughout this process. And when you get your shakes, you guys, don't just like shake it up with water and drink it because it's going to be gross like that. My absolute favorite recipe for shake O is using one teaspoon of almond butter or powdered peanut butter. And if I use powdered peanut butter, I don't even count it for anything. So I'll just do like two teaspoons, two, like a tablespoon of powdered peanut butter and um, four ounces almond milk, four ounces water, a full cup of ice and chocolate shake and half a banana. Blended, delicious, frosty from Wendy's. Swear to God, you will love it. When I'm in a super rush, I do water, ice, chocolate, um, shake and I use like a half a teaspoon of peppermint extract, and I love that too. My eye looks extremely red. It's like freaking me out. So I hope this covers everything. I think it does. If you guys have questions at all, please let me know. I want to help you. Remember, please, it is not annoying to me when you have questions. It's what I'm here for. My goal in life, for real, professionally, is for you guys to get results. That's it. I want you to be happy. I want you to feel great. I want you to get results like I have that made me like a better person. And I know you can. So don't feel funny asking me questions. Please ask me questions. That's what I'm here for. Okay. Yay. I think I'm done for now. Reach out anytime. I'm posting this video for you guys. Watch it and then comment below when you're done and let me know if you have questions. Hey, yay. All right. You guys get excited for day one. It's coming.